Here, watch, I'll rip around this. So I just got this OS Geekin Diff from Japan, and they gave me a bunch of different stickers here. And I've already put it inside of the Miata. This is the stock diff. I have a, or I had an open differential. I'm gonna show you this open differential real quick. This is it, this is my open differential. You can see how it works. Interesting that there's quite a bit of play in here and that's probably because I beat the shit out of it, but that is basically it. That is the uh, old differential. Swapping out the differential is a difficult job. I'm not making a video on that because I don't recommend this job. I don't recommend that you do this job yourself. But let's go test drive it. I wanna show you how great of a modification this OS Geek and Differential is. It's uh, by far one of the best mods that I did to the uh, Miata. One of the best mods you can do to any car, really. Let's go drive it. We are here in the OS Geek and Equipped NC Miata, and we're gonna test it out. Now, when I give it a little bit of power, it will actually lock the differential up and so if I'm giving it a little bit of power in the city, when I'm turning right here, you'll hear it lock and unlock. The axle sort of sounds like it's binding. And this is even with the special fluid from OS Geekin. That fluid is an 80W250, which is extremely thick. It seems like the fluid is about as thick as honey when you pump it into the differential. All right, here we go. Let's, let me show you. Now when I floor it, it just sticks. So if I just give it gas here, it will just stick. So that's the amazing thing about the OSG differential. On the sharp corners, I floor it and the car just sticks. Now when the tires are a little bit cold, like in the morning I can do some very nice drifts with this differential, it locks up very quick. The other thing that I did while I was in here was I replaced the differential carrier bushings and those were completely shot. The stock ones were completely shot, so I put some polyurethane bushings in there and now there is no shifter movement. And I didn't realize how bad those differential bushings were until I got in there. And they basically eliminated all of the slop in the transmission. And the reason that is, is because there's a power plant frame running from the transmission to the differential that keeps everything in place. It basically, it basically locks the differential to the transmission. And so by isolating the differential with those solid polyurethane mounts, I now have much better shifts. And also because I rebuilt the differential, there's no gear wine or anything transmitted into the car like some people talk about. And I, I think when uh, these cars get older, there's some play in the older differentials, but if you set the differential up correctly, there's no sound transmitted in to the cabin with the polyurethane mounts. If you're getting diff wine, your differential is probably not set up correctly. Now the other thing is, no lift shift works really well right now. I'll show you a second to third shift. It's so, it's so fast, it's incredible. And that's a function of the differential bushings. It's, it's just kind of hard to believe how fast you can shift this thing. There's no movement in the shifter. I mean, it's just instantaneous. The, the revs stay right where you want them and it, it just, it's so fast, it's, it's great. But again, the highlight here is this differential. So I have racing pads on here right now because I might go to Willow Springs on Saturday and tune the car before I head out to Button Willow again. But if we accelerate full throttle here, you can see the car just sticks. I mean, there's, 
it's just it's just amazing it's hard to describe in the video but the Miata really really needed a limited slip there's so much control I, I, I can get the car to slide I can get the car to um, grip it's just it's just amazing and it locks up on deceleration too so the cam actually works two ways both under acceleration and under deceleration so if I'm coming into a corner when I am uh, braking on the track it adds a lot of straight line stability all right so we're out here at Willow Springs testing the OS Geekin differential in the Mazda Miata and I'm having some issues with this car after I do a few laps it either overheats or something happens and I can't I can't get any uh, power in the top RPM range. We're just here to test the car. The OS Geekin is fantastic. I just have to sort the issues out with the car. Uh, and until I do that, I can't really go for a fast lap. So we're just gonna see, we're gonna run some casual laps and see if I have a, a problem with the temperature again. Now one of the interesting things about the diff is the front left wheel now rubs when I hit that corner and it's because the slip angle is a little bit different with the wheels locked up in the back. The car behaves completely differently. Alright, so it looks like we have to get off the track here. That's a major bummer. But the Miata is doing well now, so that's, you know, that's the good news. Good news, bad news. Good news is the Miata is doing well now, it's not losing power as much. Bad news is the hot weather really does affect it, and so I've got to do something about the heat because in the cold weather the, the car is much snappier, I'll see much higher, higher speeds. And so in order to make that up later in the day, I'm going to have to carry more speed through these corners in order to keep pace with everybody on this racetrack so um, that is uh, that is unfortunate but here we are yeah the heat pouring out of these vents is just spectacularly hot so yeah we are just way down on power I can feel this the car is like really struggling right now. speed through here rotating nicely through there that's that diff just hooking up it's just a great diff I got a I got a check engine light flashing temperature is fine cylinder 3 misfire detected so I do I do have a misfire now all right so I got to chase that misfire down all right so long story short this is the engine failure that I experienced on the racetrack the temperatures in the engine were getting up to over 230 degrees on the coolant and I wasn't seeing that while I was on the track. It cools down quickly as I cruise off the track. The hood vents really let out a lot of heat. And so the engine detonated and it closed up the gap on this plug. I compression tested the engine and put new plugs in and everything is fine now somehow. But the solution now is to put a larger radiator in. So I put in the Goodwin triple pass radiator. It's very expensive and it keeps the engine very cool. Uh, but compared to the stock radiator, it's a major upgrade. The stock radiator is very thin, and so 
I just threw that in there and I'm gonna go out and test the car again this next weekend. That is all I have for you. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you enjoy your car.